The current practice in Julia is to press control D and start the session again. Okay. I'm firing up Julia here to see how we can clear the workspace. I'm new to Julia. I'm trying to uh, learn a new programming language for data analysis purposes. And I picked up, um, I've been a programmer previously, and I picked up Julia as I believe it's trending. It's going to become more popular. So I'm sharing my experience with YouTube to see, to help anyone in the YouTube community uh, come along and learn Julia with me. So I'm on a journey today to uh, learn some of the basics of working with the REPL in Julia. And we're going to look at how to clear the workspace. Uh, so I've opened up Atom. Uh, and Juno, if you're interested to know how I got here, I've made another video, the link's in the description below, that looks at how to install Julia, how to install Atom and how to install Juno. It's a step-by-step -step guide. So what I've got here is my Julia REPL. I'm all ready to go. We can print our Hello World again. And you can see, uh, something comes up there. We've got our workspace over here, which is now evaluated and showing up what is uh, part of our Julia workspace. And let's assign some variables that we might want to clear in the future. Uh, A equals, this is a string. So now we have some uh, variables in our workspace that we want to clear up. So I believe in MATLAB there's a clear workspace or there's some sort of workspace function. Now, uh, the version of Julia I'm using, I believe doesn't support this workspace function. I, I looked up previously how to clear the workspace in Julia. Uh, it seems that this workspace function no longer uh, is no longer supported in Julia. And the current practice for clearing the workspace in Julia is to press Control D and then to start the session again. So to recap, the current practice in Julia is to press Control D and start the session again. Pressing Control D and starting the Julia workspace again doesn't appear to have any downsides. It may be, it may in fact be the more efficient way to do it. Uh, typically when I've worked with interpreted languages like this before or scripts like scripting languages like this before, there's usually some way to clear all the current variables by calling a function uh, inside this REPL. However, Julia doesn't seem to do that. It seems to prefer uh, closing the whole REPL and starting it again to clear variables. So uh, the next thing I'm going to look at is how to remove a single variable in Julia. Because let's say you had a very big variable that was taking up lots of memory on your computer and you want to remove just that one in particular. So uh, stay tuned, that video is going to be coming out shortly. How did it remove one variable? Uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. I'm going on a journey over the next few weeks of how to build your first uh, app in Julia. We're going to build a dashboard and I'm starting out uh, learning Julia as a scripting language first and then we're going to see what we can do to turn it into, uh, to build our own dashboard in Julia. So hit subscribe and I'll see you soon.